Introducing the Cadillac XTS with the newly available 410 horsepower twin turbo. Hi, I'm Tony Lassane, and welcome to another edition of InFocus Magazine's Black History Special. In this edition, we're going to introduce you to black astronauts. You ready? Time for liftoff. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. As a kid living near the Kennedy Space Center, I wondered if there were any black astronauts. Then I saw Planet of the Apes, the original one. You know, with Charlton Heston, not Mark Wahlberg. There he was, a black astronaut named Dodge. That was 1968. Of course, he was the first one to die in Planet of the Apes. Plus, the DJ brother would never go for these kinds of conditions. But as far as movies go, things got better for black astronauts, starting with Star Trek's Uhura. Sexy, smart, serious Uhura, which means star in Swahili, was portrayed by Nichelle Nichols. Uhura was one of the first characters of African descent to be featured in a non menial role on an American television series. Later, Zoe Saldana played Uhura, and she pulled it off. Star Trek featured LeVar Burton as Giordi LaForge, the brother with the coolest shades in the galaxy. Check that funky Ultra Tech visor out that made a blind man see. And Star Trek even showcased a black Vulcan. Hey, he's no astronaut. How did he get in here? My favorite TV or film astronaut is Don Cheadle as Colonel James Rhodes, who wore the war machine armor in Iron Man. I know, you say he's not an astronaut. You got me. But Cheadle also played astronaut Luke Graham in Mission to Mars. And then there's Will Smith and his son in After Earth. But enough of black astronauts in movies and TV. I want to introduce you to some real black astronauts. There are black astronauts who have flown in space, walked in space, and done research in space. Some of them paid the ultimate sacrifice to advance our nation's space program. Like Robert Lawrence Jr., who in 1967 was selected as an astronaut in the Air Force Man Orbiter Lab program, thus becoming the first black astronaut. Unfortunately, Lawrence was killed on December 8, 1967 in a crash of his F-104 fighter jet. Ron McNair was an amazing talent, a hero, who was killed in the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. Michael Anderson, who died in the Columbia disaster. But in spite of setbacks and sacrifices, there are numerous black astronauts that have reached incredible heights and became pioneers in their own right. United States Air Force Colonel Guion Bluford, the first African-American astronaut in space. Air Force Colonel Frederick Gregory, the first African-American to pilot and command a space shuttle mission. Dr. Bernard Harris Jr., first African-American to walk in space. I'm honored to have met some of these amazing pioneers. Captain Winston Scott, who logged more than 24 days and 14 hours in space, including three spacewalks. Marine Corps Major General Charles Frank Bolden Jr. is the 12th administrator of NASA. Bolden leads a nationwide NASA team to advance the mission and goals of the U.S. space program. And What's really cool is there are even black female astronauts, women in space. Check this out. Like Dr. Mae Jamison, an American physician and astronaut who became the first African-American woman to travel in space when she went into orbit aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour in 1992. Joan Higginbotham logged over 308 hours in space during her missions. So, should we consider funk star George Clinton in this piece? Star child here, citizens of the universe. I mean, I saw the mothership land with my own eyes. But then again, that would make him an alien. Oh, forget it. Moving on. So there you have it, our special Black History Edition on Black Astronauts. Now, I want to congratulate all of those astronauts and NASA for enabling these amazing individuals to help advance America's space program. I'm Tony Lassane on InFocus Magazine TV. I'll see you next time.